and the uh, awardee is uh, G Madhvi Lata. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a tie. We're going to announce the second winner in a couple of minutes from now. Dr. G. Madhubi Lata brought science, patience, and precision together. The Chenab Railway Bridge, now the world's highest railway single arch bridge, stands not just on steel and concrete, but on years of relentless research and resolve. Acknowledged by the Prime Minister, her work is a testament to how Indian science quietly builds the nation's strongest foundations for turning complexity into possibility and engineering into nation building. NDTV Indian of the Year 2025, Science Icon of the Year is Dr. G. Madhavi Latha. If you could get the award, pass the award on. Thank you. Lataji, if you can just stay on, Padmanjah will be joining you in a moment. Many, many congratulations, ma'am, and a huge round of applause. This is for everyone who thought that women don't do science. First of all, ma'am, right for starters, what an iconic picture. You have to tell us all the story behind this picture because you literally had a thousand stories on Instagram, a thousand memes behind that one picture on the Chenab Bridge. Thank you, thank you so much. First of all, I would like to dedicate this award to Indian Railways for their vision, commitment and hard work in fulfilling our country's dream of connecting Jammu and Kashmir with the rest of the country by train. And I also share this award with every engineer who has contributed to this iconic national project. Thank you so much. And about the picture that you have seen, which has become viral in media, the picture was clicked by my daughter when I took for the first time my family to show the bridge. And that was, it was not thought to be for any media, it is a very personal picture, but that became viral. I'm glad it, it actually inspired many girls in the country. Thank you. There's a story, after this picture went viral, Professor Lata went on LinkedIn, <laughs> she wrote a post saying, please don't make me unnecessarily popular. This is not to my credit alone. I mean, here you had a bridge, which is a marvel of the world. It's an engineering marvel. You worked on it as a consultant for 17 years. And then when the whole world is talking about it, the first instinct was not to say, yes, bring it on, get me the cameras. It was to say, please don't put unnecessary focus on me. Who does that, Professor? <laughs> No, we all should do it. It is the truth that there are like thousands of people who worked for this project. Uh, there are construction companies, engineers, many people worked for this project and I'm not the only one, I keep saying that. Yes, I contributed significantly to the most critical part of the bridge, which is slope stability and foundation uh, design. And I own it up, but at the same time, I don't want to take the credit of others who have worked equally hard or more than me. So. That's the truth. You know, was there any point, because this was a, is, it was a superhuman feat, you know. Nobody could think that we could make a single arch bridge in such difficult terrain. There were so many challenges. You had a, you know, plan as you go along approach that I read about. And, you know, there is, could be earthquakes, there could be cracks, there could be the kind of uh, soil density that you did not expect. Was there a point in more than a decade and a half that you worked on the Chenab Bridge, where you thought, boss, this is breaking point, you know? It's like you're this close to despair or disappointment. There were several ups and downs in the project, to be very honest. In the initial stages when we climbed those hills, it was not uh, looked like it, was, it is going to be a, po a possibility that we are going to build this bridge connecting two hills. We are talking about 359 meters above the uh, river bed the world's highest railway bridge, 35 meters taller than Eiffel Tower. Wind is at a speed of 220 kilometers per hour. And we are building in high seismicity region. Climatic conditions are very extreme. So it was a very big challenge. And there were ups and downs in the project. And 
at no point of time we thought it is impossible. The only uh, idea or thought in our mind was we have to tell our next generation that India has the strength and resilience to build this kind of iconic national project. And we want to demonstrate the civil engineering at above the clouds. That's what we call this project. And we did it. Soaring way above the clouds. I have to put the spotlight on a young man who's quietly sitting there, Professor Lata's son, Shore, right there. Shore, you know, in our country, it is a standard that when your parents are achievers, everyone's focus is on you, that you have to better them. So how high is the bridge that you are now being expected to make by your relatives and by your mom? Uh, I, I'm obviously very proud of my mom. And when I went to see the bridge, it was a huge, you know, it's a very big moment. You know, it's the, a picture cannot do justice to what the... What Any pressure on you yet? Pre pressure? I mean, no. I mean, my mom and my parents have always been very supportive in my journey. I can choose what, what I want to do in my future. And, you know, through her busy late night project, she's always there for me, you know, dropping me to school, making yummy festival food. So I think that I, I'd like to, you know, my mom was always there for me and the whole family. So I, I'm always grateful this. to her. You can't her. be, a, you know, super successful <laughs> scientist and a super mom. You're making it very <laughs> difficult for the rest of the women over here. But in conclusion, before I let you go, Professor Lata, that picture broke the internet. Can we have it back on? Because Professor Lata has promised to recreate it here for us on NDTV, Indian of the Year. Let's see it. Okay, let's do the flying picture. <laughs> Go for it, ma'am. Go for it. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> many, many congratulations, ma'am. Don't leave the... <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There Go it is. It. There it is. <laughs> Thank you so much, a super scientist, super mom, and very, very sporting. Huge round of applause for Professor Madhvi Lata. Thank you so much, ma'am, and thank you, Padmaja. Thank but you so much.